Hi everyone, there are often a lot of people in their 30s or 40s who ask me whether they should continue as an IC, which is an individual contributor role or whether they should get into any management role like team leading, project management, program management, etc. So here is my advice on whoever is in that particular situation trying to decide whether it is better to be an IC or whether it is better to be a project manager. Let me tell you first that IC roles require you to be an expert, right? So it can be a technical IC role or a domain IC role. You need to be really expert in one or two areas for which they are hiring you. So an individual contributor role is more about being an expert either in technology or domain. But any sort of managerial roles on the contrary is not just about expertise. It is about a lot of things. And here are five things which I suggest everybody should have thought of before they get into any managerial role. Point number one, in a managerial role, you will need to communicate a lot. You will need to collaborate a lot. You will need to talk a lot. So communication and collaboration is one skill that will make you successful as a manager. So please make sure that before you get into managerial role, you have thought about it. Okay. If you don't have those kind of communication skills or collaboration skills, you can always learn and develop, but be aware that once you get into a managerial role, you will need to talk to your team members, your stakeholders, seniors, leaders, cross flow teams, and a lot of other people. So speaking well, writing well, talking assertively, communicating well, all these things are absolutely important as a manager. And that I believe is integral to project management too. With that said, let's move on to point number two. Managers are expected to manage a lot of numbers. When I say numbers, it is about how many team members do you have? How many team members do you have at what location? What is the budget of your project? What is the cost of your project? How much margin is your project giving? All these are variety of numbers that are expected from managers and managers are supposed to have these numbers like on their fingertips. And in a managerial role, you will also need to do a lot of reporting. Okay, so you'll need to talk to a lot of people in your company. You will have to send out status reports and stuff like that. So if you are a person who is not very comfortable with numbers or with this kind of status reporting and stuff, then think twice before you get into any managerial role. With that said, let's move on to point number three, which is the core difference between IC and management role is that as a manager, you are not just responsible for your work, you are responsible for the work delivered by the entire team. So as a manager, you're always concerned about what is my team doing? Are they on task? Are they going to deliver on time? Are there any risk? Are there any issues? Is somebody going to resign? Is somebody falling sick, etc, etc. So as a manager, your responsibility is a lot, lot more than what it is in an individual contributor role. And also remember that the accountability of the entire project's success or failures lies with you as a manager. For example, if an individual contributor fails, then that particular task is not delivered. But if you fail as a project manager, then it means that the entire project has more or less failed. So that is why before you get into any managerial role, think whether you are ready to take that kind of responsibility. All right, now let's move to point number four. As a manager, you are expected to take hard decisions, tough decisions. Sometimes it may be about your team member who is not performing. Sometimes it may be setting expectations with the client or customers. And having difficult conversations is not an easy thing. Not everybody can do it naturally. So if you want to get into a managerial role, please make sure that you learn some of these things as part of certain trainings or workshops so that when you get into these roles, it does not come to you as a shock or a surprise. Because as a manager, honestly, you need to change your behavior a lot. When you talk to different people in different times, you need to adjust and be flexible because you are supposed to talk to a lot of people and you need to manage each one of them in a different context. All right. So that was point number four. And finally, point number five. As a manager, you need to have the skill to remove ambiguity. There will be a lot of ambiguity or confusion happening on the ground between different team members within the same location, different locations. There will be a lot of email communication going on. A lot of people will have emotional issues. A lot of people will have difficulty in understanding expectations and a lot of to and fro will be happening. So as a manager, your job is to remove ambiguity. Your job is to administer the entire thing as if you are the person who is in control. So in a nutshell, as a manager, you need to have that ability to think forward. You need to think what may go wrong. 
you need to have the skill to anticipate the risks so that you can plan any mitigation actions which might be needed and honestly i've seen a lot of managers who are really good in doing the administration job but they are really not focused on thinking and as a manager i think the most important part of your job is to think for your team think for your project and anticipate what may go wrong and then take proactive action to fix that all right so these are five qualities which i but in short are definitely needed for anybody to succeed in a managerial role i hope it helps you make a decision before you get into management roles not everybody has it naturally you can always learn and develop these skills let me know if you are a manager or if you are going to become a manager what are the challenges or issues you are facing in the comment section i'll be happy to read and respond to them share this video in your network if you feel anybody else can benefit from it i'll see you in another video very soon take care and bye for now